Now, when constructing congruent angles, what you're being asked to do is you're asked to make uh, a duplicate uh, set of rays that have the same distance apart as the picture that you see in front of you. It, you kind of can visualize it as a crocodile mouth, maybe, and you're saying, how can I make that crocodile mouth the exact same uh, openness or distance? So what you would need to do is you draw a point, very simple. Now, one of the things I teach kids is that you don't have to make it face the exact same way. That's not what the word congruent means. You can have it face uh, other directions if you want. But you just draw a line. Now, obviously, I know my line is way too big. It doesn't matter because I'm not talking about segments. I'm talking about angles. Your first step, you come over here, you put your compass down on the dot, and you make this any length you want. You can make it big, you can make it real tiny, it doesn't matter, make it a comfortable size. You're gonna put your compass right here on the dot, and what you're gonna do is you're going to scroll down and make this arc. With this arc, you're going to make two dots. Add in some names like B and C, but what you're gonna do is, this is important, do not change this length. The length that you have already set is now the length you must use, so it has to still be the same. You're going to come down and you're going to do the exact same thing here. Put your dot on this one that you drew, make a nice big arc, nice big arc, go slow, okay. From there, you're allowed to add in a dot where there was a crossing. We can start labeling these points down here. Let's call this R, let's call this M, and so we're almost there. Because as you can see, this has three points and this has two points. The very last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your compass and your compass now has to match this length right here. So you have to adjust your compass so that is the exact same length of this segment. When you've done that, let me get, make sure, you're going to go down to the M because it's kind of like this M right here. You're going to make a crossing. Okay. It's almost like you're making the double crossing here, but you're doing it down here below. So this gives you the opportunity to add in another point at the crossing, which you can call anything. Let's, let's call it J. Why not? It doesn't matter. You take your ruler. You connect those two dots, and this l angle, I'm going to call it an angle right here, this angle is the same as this angle because they open at the same amount of distance, and that's how you construct congruent angles.